Alrighty folks, we're back with a beautiful summer 12 seater table in the elegant Bavarian China with a summery feel right here on my take on Home and Garden. Okay guys, now I'll tell you. This new Bavarian china we picked up, this is the inspiration for today, okay? It's by Winterling, Schwarzenbach, Bavaria, Germany. Absolutely exquisite. Look at, real quick, all the colors in this summery dinnerware. And we have some cups and saucers, so we're going to use what we got. We're going to make it beautiful. Now, I want to incorporate that with the beautiful scallop white charger. And this will be our look for today for our summer elegant dining. We're going to do a big, elegant, and glorious arrangement for this table today. We're into summer, so I'm not going to use the, the spring like little wimpy ferns that are pretty but I'm gonna go a little heavier now with these ferns you've seen them you've seen me use them before and I'm gonna go with this basket I'm gonna bend them down just a touch in the front give it kind of a swoop and a little realism let's look at the filler which is gonna be this boxwood maybe a few of them I got this boxwood with the cute white blooms we haven't seen yet so I'm gonna bulk this up and fill it in I want to key off what you saw in the plate now I'm not gonna use bright orange because when I use bright orange me and a lot of other people think of fall and I think my main flower today is going to be the yellow roses. Let's look at something longer and feathery for the bottom middle now. Okay, this one we're going to use to establish the length of our piece. And again, with a little formal balance, I want those to look roughly the same out of both ends. Okay, I'm liking that's just we build our base. This is how I think, just to help you think. Build our base, and because we have orange in the dinnerware, this is as far as I'm going to go with an orange. Okay, but it is kind of touching on it. Possibly this wonderful giant dahlia in the center ends. Let's look at our rusty melon, orange melon if you will. Maybe let them come out beyond the giant dahlia. And I want to see that butt too. I don't want to bury that butt. So just this is how I'm thinking while I'm doing the work. Yes, summer. So believe me, we're going to get there. So this doesn't look like fall. We're going to need our some help with our white. Let's go in here with this cabbage rose. Getting nice, getting cute. We we'll need this big boy, <laughs> yellow, open rose in the middle. Need some lavender pieces in here. The back. Okay, that might. I like that crown. Then one off each end. 
for our glorious, elegant, formal basket arrangement. What do you think, guys? And here is our table setting for today. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> I can't take it. No, we're going to show that the coffee cup and saucer is the first beverage on the right. I would like to show you real quick how I decide to do the fruit. So we filled this with apples and we want the colors of our table even in the fruit bowl. Some people argue you don't worry about that. Well, if you know the name of our channel, it's just simply my take on it. And we're going to use some citrus green and yellow that's in our arrangement and look at how that works. I am paying attention to how I started on each place setting. So I'm putting this dimpled, believe it or not, spot towards the guest. Now just so you know how I pay attention to how these sit and look exact at each setting. Okay, off the bottom stem of the main flower bunch, I go to the right in the first raised floret on the plate. And I'm matching that with the dimple here on the charger. Every one is exactly the same. I've just looked for a mark. It could be any mark you want to use. We need napkins and silverware. And I'm going to use this incredible 100% cotton with the crystal napkin ring on the left. As you know, if you watch our channel, the dinner fork is taller and then the salad fork and then the napkin on the left. Dinner fork and salad fork. The dinner knife is on the right with dinner spoon. Could be soup spoon. The dessert spoon can go to the top, the handle facing the, the dinner spoon. We have some ancillary pieces to add. Got a brie cheese. Poppy seed bread. We got sweet yellow peppers. And we're going to have to have a trivet for our teapot. We're having North Atlantic haddock folks. So we'll want some tartar sauce. We're going to need a wine glass. Just about one o'clock. Maybe a champagne flute. We got to have our horseradish brown mustard in Mr. Lobster. And we're almost there, guys. Does everybody like a good fish fry like we do? Oh, that North Atlantic haddock. Pollock. Oh, wow. Folks, 
I'm going to have to take you and show you all around. And yes, folks, we used 100% cotton tablecloth in this wonderful chiffon yellow in the damask style. And it's 160 inches for our table today. So guys, hopefully you liked it. You liked our summer elegant table for 12. Give us a like, a share, a comment. A quick prayer <laughs> send your buddy over to subscribe and we'll see you on Instagram thanks guys you know we care and get some Sun on your face and get your summer on where are you gonna go folks for elegant you're gonna go right here on my take on home and garden. See you soon, probably in the next over the top elegant table.